Hello everybody, welcome once again to our episode and whether you're listening to us from uh, the podcast platform or you're watching us on YouTube, we are so glad that you are here with us and today we have a very interesting topic and the question we are asking and we are answering today is, are you offering enough services as a creative? This question, we are going to answer it very simply. And to start with, there are several ways to grow a business. And one way to grow a business is increasing the price of your product or services. And since we are creatives, the number one way to grow, start growing your business or increasing your revenue is increasing your price. So sometimes once in a year or twice in a year, you may increase your prices depending on how your business is growing. You may find that you, you, have, you now have a bigger office, you have a bigger freelancer group or and you have an employee and you need to accommodate for those growth and changes. And so you may increase your prices. But increasing prices is extremely difficult because now you throw off your clients sometimes. Sometimes you may feel as if, ah, I have been your client for long. I, it's not the best decision for you to increase your prices to your existing clients. Maybe you may increase your prices to new clients. But then most business comes from existing clients who have already been with you for a while. And so that's usually not the most important and common thing to do. The second way for you to grow and increase your prices is increase the number of products or services that you offer. And that leads to this question today. Are you offering enough services? Some of us are offering just one service. You're just a photographer and that is a new deliver. You are just a, a wedding filmmaker, that's it, a new deliver. When I started photography, I was just a photographer. I did not know many things about photography. I did not know the opportunities there are in photography. And what I did is that I just used to take pictures and give them to the clients. If the client used to ask me, can you print? I said, no, but you can call this person to print for you. And I realized how much money I'm leaving on the table just because I could not offer other services. Like for example, I could not offer printing for the clients. I could not offer making them booths for their event. And I realized that there is so much more that you can give your client and you can also add them to your service catalogs or your product catalog in your business and earn more money. And I'll tell you the truth, currently we have quite a number of catalog of products. In fact, once you come to us, you may live with everything that you need. Right now we are we fly drones, we take drone photography. Right now we are wedding photographers, portrait photographers. We print for you all you are uh, wall hangings, boards, whether it is metal plates, whether it is photo books, we do everything for you. And the reason why this is important is because we needed also to increase our level of revenue. And the more we increased our level of services, our revenue grew. Also, our customer experience became even better because now the touch points of our clients with our business are becoming more, not just taking of pictures, but also we are offering them printing. We are also offering them something else. Take an example of a videographer. Now, for a videographer, you may just shoot and that's it. But for a videographer, you may offer some other services which are attached to you being a videographer. For example, you may offer post uh, pre-production, meaning it's writing of concepts, writing of storyboards and scripting. Then come to your, where is your forte? And that is production. You do all the DOP work, you do all the, 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 the lighting and all those things that are related to shooting and making sure that everything is captured well on camera. And during the post-production, instead of giving that work away to another person, you may also develop your skills as an editor and you do the editing work and you, you be able to color grade for the client, color correct, cut for them a very nice ad and that's it. Now what you've done, you have come from having one kind of service to adding three more services to your catalog. And each and every service you add, you charge it differently and you add a price on top. And so if you're being paid 50,000 for being a cinematographer, then you take over the pre-production, which is the concept development and uh, the storyboarding. You can add another 20,000 on top. Then you add another 30,000 on editing and then you add another 10,000 on distribution. And instead of getting paid 50, you are now paid 100,000. That's how you increase your services. So sit down, do some research. I'm not going to give you all the kind of things that you can offer. But if you're a photographer and a filmmaker, sit down, look at your business, look at other people's businesses and how they're doing them, and ask yourself, are you offering enough services? Because increasing your services means that you are offering more solutions to the client. In fact, you, in you increase your client reach 
Let me explain how. Now, if right now I am a cinematographer and people come to meet for just shooting and then they go somewhere else to, to do editing. Now, since I do editing, I'm able to acquire that business for myself and I earn more money. If a client comes to my business and they do not want, they already had someone else to do the shooting for them or the production for them, I can be able to book them only as an editor. Now, before that, they could have come to my business and just walk away because I don't offer editing. But now I have a new client who next time will not only book me for the editing, but will also book me for production. And that's how you grow your client reach. So increasing your services means more income and also means you reaching more clients. And that's how important for you to have more services. Of course, you need to develop each and every service and each and every product independently to a place where it is a minimum viable product that is consumable and then increase it. And what you do is that you do a lot of study, market research, know what are people buying, what are people using, uh, what do people need after they get this A service? Do they need any B, C or D? And then grow on them. It will take time for you to have quite a number of services. But I think having more services is beneficial for your business growth and for your revenue growth. If you have any questions about this topic, feel free to ask in the comment section below because we are willing to answer. And until next time, hope that you will go study and add on to your service catalog. Have more services in your business and hope that this episode has been of great to you. And until next time, this is the Diary of the Creative. My name is Joroge Jonathan and peace.